Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Say The Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, produce and engineer my own music. And I also film four series here on my YouTube. And this podcast is all about spirituality, metaphysics and shadow work and so, so much more. So for this video, I was reading a book by Michael Singer. I can't remember which one it was. It might have been to do with Surrender. I think it was to do with surrender because honestly, surrender is one of the hardest fucking things for me to do. But that's not what this video is about. Um, in that book though, he said a phrase and I just absolutely love it. It like struck a chord with me instantly. And that is that our ego mind is a preference mind. And I wanted to film this video for you in case this resonates with you too. Because when I realized like, oh, <laughs> the ego mind will always have a preference. It's always going to pop up with thoughts about what it wants, what it needs, where you should go, like all these different scenarios and different outcomes. It's always going to come up with something. It's always going to speak to you. It's always got shit to fucking say. Even when we don't want it to say anything, it always does. And I realise from what he said, like it really is a preference mind because it not only does it always have something to say, but it's always telling you what it wants. It's always suggesting things and not necessarily things that are actually good for you. Might I add that part? But it's always suggesting something and our job as like the higher being beyond the ego mind or the observer of everything, I guess, or the observer of all kinds of perspectives is to be able to actually observe what it's saying and not necessarily absorb it, like still pay attention to it and sometimes you might wanna do the thing it's saying, but also to be able to observe the whole thing, the whole picture, the whole voice, the whole story, the whole narrative, you know? Because it's gonna continuously spiral. It's gonna always um, go from one thing to the next, you know? Like one minute you're thinking about what you want to eat and then the next minute you're thinking about some kind of fear that you've got going on in your present life, you know, like it always flows to a new thought and a new narrative. Sometimes it can even go to the complete opposite narrative to the one you were just thinking about, you know, it can go absolutely everywhere all the time. And so when I started to understand that it is a preference mind, I feel like that helped me to release some attachment to it. Obviously, it's not an overnight thing and things can take a lot of like, uh, conscious effort and stuff so I'm not saying that it just like transformed my whole life or anything but it definitely flipped a switch for me to be able to whenever I hear it and I want to grab on to what it's saying especially a fear thing whenever it's fearing something and I want to grab onto it and allow that to go into an emotion and like it starts to spiral and I get a bit stuck whenever that starts to happen I'm like holy shit this is a preference mind of course it's going to tell me these things of course it's going to list out the million fears that are possible with this scenario because that's what it's there for it's for survival you know like we actually need that as humans otherwise we're going to get in so many dangerous situations so we need this preference mind but we also need to actually be aware of what it's saying and when it's true and when it's false and when it's part of false matrix programming and like false beliefs and things like that that come from society that come from your parents that come from your childhood and trauma being able to observe it and when you want to attach know where it's coming from know why you want to attach like you, maybe you're wanting to attach because it's a belief that you've actually run on since childhood and now you're trying to change it and because you're trying to change it you're aware of the fact that it's coming up but then when it comes up you want to attach to it because that's what you've done all your life and you're so used to attaching to it but now you have the conscious awareness to notice when you're trying to attach to it rather than it just happening on autopilot so like you become aware of the fact that you're trying to attach to it and then you can kind of stop yourself in your tracks and be like wait a second this is a preference mind this is a template that I've run on for however many years and it's okay that I want to attach to it right now but now I'm aware of the fact that I'm doing it so let me stop myself and pick up one of my spiritual practices one of my techniques whatever it is that you like to do something that works best for you and go into that to help yourself from the attachment and to help yourself work through whatever the trigger is as well, you know? But the fact that it is a preference mind means that it's always gonna come up with 
a million things. It's always got scenarios to tell you about. It's always got fears to tell you about. And like that's a basic human natural part of our minds or a natural part of consciousness and our psyche. And then when you add on to that childhood trauma and you add on to that the false matrix and the corrupt systems that are going on that we're having to kind of live around or inside of or whatever you want to call it when you add on top of it those things then the preferences that it's coming up with you know the beliefs that are there the narratives that it's going to tell you are going to be extreme and intense so we can actually once you understand this remember to hold compassion for yourself whilst you're going through this because like it's such an intense intense process to reprogram your beliefs and transform your life and it's something that can take a whole lifetime so just having the awareness that it's always going to do these things and there's always more for you to learn and always more for you to uncover and always more for you to change and transform you know even when you change one belief you might want to change another one and stuff like that like there's always more Um, progress that can take place and things that can happen but just understanding that the ego mind is probably always going to come up with bullshit (laughs) it's always going to speak to you it's always going to say things that aren't necessarily beneficial to you that don't necessarily uplift you or help you in any way but it's trying to analyze the fear-based outcomes so that it can keep you safe so when this kind of happens you can have a bit more compassion for yourself and the fact that it's doing its job it's doing exactly what it's designed to do by human nature and then when you add on top all of the false things all of the programmed things that were added that aren't necessarily a part of nature you can then be like oh Oh, maybe I can have a bit more compassion for myself because this is actually really fucking difficult. It's actually really hard. And the fact that you're even willing to do this work is so incredible and so powerful. And you should be really proud of yourself. But I hope that this concept helps you a little bit to understand what the ego mind is. The fact that we cannot really change it. What we can change is our reaction to it. You know, so like when you hear a thought, and it says something, some kind of negative narrative and you want to attach to it, what you're doing is changing your reaction of wanting to attach to it. You're not stopping the mind from saying what it wants to say because it's just not something that we can do. So it may always be there, but that doesn't mean that it has to get us stuck and lost. You know, we can start taking back our power and taking control of our minds and of the beliefs and of the thoughts that we actually attach to and then allow to spiral into emotion. So I hope this episode was helpful. Thank you so so much for watching and don't forget to check out the description box below for all links to my music my crystal jewelry my phone number because i send inspirational videos and pictures and messages and everything else about me is all in the description box below and as well as you can also text and whatsapp me or dm me any video requests or comment down below if you're watching on youtube and i will see you in the next episode bye how do we get to this feeling i'm feeling how did this open up after the healing? Flaws all exposed when I thought they could fade. Wounds are exposed in so many ways.